Hello Pisces, we are gonna do your general reading. So these are obviously general, they're not gonna resonate for everyone. If it does not resonate with you, um, take what does resonate, if any, and throw the rest away, okay? Um, cross watchers, welcome. Gender is not a, a thing in tarot, okay? Um, if it if it's a, a card that depicts a male or a female, it, it, I just read it that way, but it's interchangeable and it's just the energy of the card, okay? What else? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to try and do better about getting all these out. I have not been great about it in the past. My apologies. Um, also, I'm at home today. I've got, you know, kids here and there's people outside and... So there's, there might be some noise. I apologize. What else? Anything? Everything you need to know about um, booking a personal reading with me will be in the description box below. What else? I think that's it. Okay. I'm going to pull the spread with one deck and clarify with another. All of these cards have been shuffled, but I do shuffle some more on camera. All right, Pisces. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bottom of the deck, the fool, a new beginning, a leap of faith, right? I like it. Current energy, the sun. All right. Card of Leo could be dealing with a Leo. Don't have to be. Happiness, clarity, health, focus, love, light, all of those things, right? Crossing that is the six of cups. Could be a reconciliation, could be a past life soulmate, could just be a soulmate. Um, the Six of Cups is an interesting card to pull with the sun. Um, the reason for the reading, why is it all happening? What is going on? Something toxic's going on. All right. Recent past, the Knight of Wands. Going after what you want or maybe being a player or having a, a player mentality or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the crowning energy, the Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning, the incoming future, the Five of Pentacles, maybe having to leave somebody behind. How you see yourself right now, Pisces, is the Queen of Swords, strategic, making decisions, right? Energy external to you that you are not aware of, Temperance, Card of Sagittarius, Divine Guidance, Hopes and Fears, the Magician, you're manifesting. You want something. I think you want a new beginning. That's what I think. Potential outcome. Ace of Swords. A new beginning in trust, in truth, right? Mental clarity, that aha moment. All right. Bottom of the deck. The Fool. The Fool. All right. So we have this sun here in the current position. So this is your happiness. This is, um, again, could be a card of Leo, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's the best card in the deck. So why is the sun here in the current position, in the current energy position for my Pisces? Why is the sun here? Oh, well, the sun tried to come out. <laughs> I think you've got your happiness on your mind. Your, your ultimate happiness, what you really want, what's really the best for you. But let's clarify it. Why is the sun here? Healing, resting, recovering. So the, the I like the four swords. He's laying here um, beside the sword of truth, right? So he's trying to be truthful with himself, with his higher power. But he's opening up his... Um, third eye chakra, his, his throat chakra, and his heart chakra. And he's doing so in a chapel, right? Or, or in a church, whatever. But that just really means that he's trying to connect to his higher power and um, really be in alignment with what's, what his truth is, right? So you're really trying to be honest with yourself right now about what you want, what your happiness is. What you really want, right? Let's clarify the sun and the four of swords, please. Now, you're thinking about where you want to invest with that seven of pentacles. Where you want to plant your seeds. 
what you want to come to fruition. And crossing you is the Six of Cups. I think that this is potentially a reconciliation. Let's find out. Um, this is what you're thinking about. This is what you want. That's not what the energy that you're in right now. You're not, you know, that's not, that's what you're thinking about. So let's clarify this Six of Cups. You want a new beginning with a soulmate. Potentially a reconciliation. It could be a reconciliation. I'm just going to go there because that's, the Six of Cups usually is, that's what that means for me. But you want a new passionate beginning and that's your crowning energy, okay? So you're really trying to be honest about what you want. I feel like you've spent a lot of time thinking about it. Let's get another one for the Six of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Yep, it's going to cause a lot of commotion though, right? It's going to be a major change in your life and in the life of others, potentially. Um, the reason this is all happening is the devil. We have uh, some kind of karmic relationship. Um, so you may very well be in a relationship right now, Pisces, that you are wanting to um, get out of. And I don't, I mean, you know, karmic relationship is just there to teach you lessons, right? It's there to help you grow as a person. Let's clarify this, this devil card. Why is this devil here for the underground, underlying, underground, underlying energy? The reason for the read. You're going to walk away. You're wanting to walk away, going to walk away from something that no longer serves you. So I feel like you're gonna walk away from a relationship, Pisces, I really do. I think you've been thinking about it. I think it's been on your mind for a while, but it's just now getting to the point where it's it's just so uncomfortable and making you feel very restless, okay? Let's get one more for the Devil and the Eight of Cups. Why is the Devil and the Eight of Cups here, please? You're, you've held on as long as you could, I think. You know, you're really, you're holding on to um, this other person, but you also have not made any decisions for a long time. So this tells me that this is a relationship. You could have been in this relationship for, you know, for a long time, for four years, eight years. I mean, it doesn't matter. But the fact of the matter is that you have held on as long as you could. And now you know that it's time to walk away. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the other person is a bad person. It just means that you've gotten everything out of that relationship that you can get. Right? That's what happens when we outgrow people or when we kind of drift apart. But, you you know, you also, if you are meant to be with another person, that's exactly what's going to happen in your relationship. Okay? So, recent past, Knight of Wands. That's Leo energy. Um, the person that you want to be with could be a Leo. I mean, we do have Leo showing up here, obviously. Um, but you also, you know, you, you also could have been maybe a bit of a player. Maybe you played that person in the past, especially if this is a reconciliation. If you played that person in the past, let's, let's clarify, though. And when I say played, I just mean that you were with them. It wasn't the right time, so maybe you didn't act accordingly. Maybe they didn't act accordingly. Just wasn't the right time for the relationship, right? Knight of Wands, but there was a lot of passion in this relationship, and I feel like um, that's something that you think about, <laughs> and probably something that they think about too, because typically if you're thinking about a person, they're thinking about you, okay? Knight of Wands, why is the Knight of Wands here? Yep, watching. You're watching each other. You have passion for each other. You're watching each other, though. You may even be going somewhere and watching them. Like, you may even be driving by their house to watch them, to see what's up. Let's get one more for the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. Yeah, you're manifesting. You manifested this situation. You've manifested the ability to keep tabs on this person. That's... that's what you've done. 
And in this crowning energy, we have this Ace of Wands, right? So that's a new passionate beginning. That's fire energy. Aries Leo Sag. Doesn't have to be, but that's what it represents, okay? So that's your that's your crowning energy. It's the overall energy for this read is a new passionate beginning. And we have that Ace of Wands over here also, remember. So why is this Ace of Wands here in this overall energy for my Pisces? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Clarify the Ace of Wands, please. The Emperor. So, Taurus, Aries energy. But the, the Emperor is somebody who, um, he's the Divine Masculine. But he's also somebody that, that um, knows what he needs to do to make things happen. It can represent the ego, but, you know, this, this emperor doesn't mess around. When he wants to go after his empress, that's what he does, okay? And he, if he's in his highest, you know, his highest vibration, he's going to attract an empress. So why is this Ace of Wands and the emperor here in the crowning energy? So right now, Pisces, you feel very stuck. I think you feel like um, you want this passionate new beginning, but you feel very stuck. There's something that's, that you're going to have to get out of, whether it's mental energy or an actual situation or both. Eight of Swords is very stuck energy. You feel stuck. Right? I mean, you can obviously walk out of this situation. Her feet are tied up. But you feel stuck nonetheless. Stuck in a relationship. Stuck in your head. Stuck in both. But in your incoming future, we've got this five of pentacles. That is leaving someone out in the cold. That's leaving someone behind. That's change. The fives in tarot are all about change. And change is uncomfortable. Okay? Sometimes even painful. So why is this five of cups here in the future position for my Pisces. Why is the five of pentacles here for my Pisces? Clarify the five of pentacles, please. Queen of wands. This, this, you guys, this has some, this has fire energy all over it. You may be leaving a queen of wands to go, you know, you may be leaving someone to go towards a Queen of Wands. If the Queen of Wands is in your future, though, uh, in the future position, that's where you're going. That's where you're headed. So let's get one more for the Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This could be the person that you left in the cold in the past, that you left, you know, that you weren't with anymore in the past because if we're dealing with a reconciliation if you're going towards a queen of wands then you left a queen of wands okay but you could also be leaving another queen of wands we could be dealing with two Le two leos and a pisces here all right let's see what's up give me one more for this five of pentacles queen of wands please there you are pisces you're going towards a queen of wands, leaving somebody behind because you see things from a different perspective. And you're getting, you know, you're getting information from the universe. That's what this halo is, right? That's enlightenment. All right. Queen of swords. This is how you see yourself. Strategic. You may not be speaking to one of these people, probably the person that you want to reconcile with if you're in a relationship, but it could be both, right? You could just be up in your head. The Queen of Swords is very good at being strategic, um, laying help boundaries, okay? It's, a, it's an air energy, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have those placements. Your person could have those placements, but oof, this is how you see yourself, strategic. Wanting to win. Queen of Pentacles. So you may very well see yourself. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is typically a wife, a mother. 
Um, if you're in a relationship, you may be being strategic about that situation. Being strategic about your stability. Let's get one more for the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups, communicating. Emotional communication. So energy external to you that you're unaware of is this temperance card. This is divine timing. This is the universe working in the background to get you where you're supposed to be. To make things happen. I'm just dropping a card. Okay. Boy. The Nine of Swords popped out. So you're stressed about this. You have, are thinking about this a lot. You're up in your head. You are... You know, you've got some sleepless nights, maybe dreaming about this situation, dreaming about this other person. So this temperance card, why is this temperance here? This is energy external to you. But this is the universe working to bring you and another person together. You're right, you're correct person. Yeah, they're working in the background for you. That's just what I said. And this could be the other person also really trying to do what they need to do um, to make this reconciliation happen. Let's clarify the temperance and the eight of pentacles, please. Good God. Nine of pentacles. There's your person right there. They're single. Let's clarify the temperance and the eight of pentacles. Queen of Cups, they love you. They're thinking about you. They are up in their feels about you. Interesting. So hopes and fears, the magician. So you're hoping that you have everything that you need to manifest this situation. Maybe worry that you don't, right? The magician has all the tools he needs to manifest any life, anything he wants. Um, the power of the universe is with him, with that infinity symbol. Okay. So let's clarify the magician. Why is the magician here? <laughs> You're manifesting a reconciliation, Pisces. All right. Get one more for the magician and the six of cups. There we go. The universe is turning in your favor to make this happen. So what we have up here in the potential outcome is this Ace of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. But this is um, that aha moment. It, it's a new beginning in truth. Um, it's it, it's it can be the the swift hand of God card, as another reader says. <laughs> One of my other favorite readers. Ace of Swords. It's a new beginning in truth. That's. Telling your truth to someone and getting the truth back. That's, be, you know, if this is a reconciliation and a relationship, this is a new beginning in truth for you. You guys are going to be on this, on the same page, wanting the same things. Being truthful to one another. Being true to yourself. For a long time, you've wanted this. And the Knight of Pentacles... Um, is very sure-footed. Very stable. Gosh, I, you guys, I am just dropping all of these cards. I don't know what's happening. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles always makes it where he's going with everything that he needs to get there. He's coming with an offer. He's coming with that pentacle, right? So he's coming with truth. He's coming with stability. Let's get one more for the outcome. The Ace of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Coming with some passion, too. But that also um, is change. Like I said, Fives and Tarot are about change. Um, he, You know, here they come. Or here you go, whatever. So, bottom of this deck, we've got the Fool, right? Taking that leap of faith. Doing the work for a new beginning. 
um, finally having your ships come in and here's this empress. Your empress is coming in a reconciliation, emotional happiness, a new beginning in love with a soulmate. You're stressed out about it. Something has to end first. That makes you feel worn out on your last leg. And I do feel like you've thought about, you've daydreamed about this for a long time. And you almost feel like you're being sneaky going towards this other person. But here you come. Good Lord, look at this. Three cards of movement. Fast movement. Okay? You've already made this choice, Pisces. Here's your card. This is your wish. You've thought about it. You've made the decision. You're going to communicate with this person, with your soulmate. Because you're going to walk away. So that you can offer this other person something. Universe is in your favor. You're going towards, I think you're going towards a Leo. Look at this. Guys, you can't make this up. All right, if that resonates for you, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, that's what I've got for you, Pisces. So um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending tons of love and light. Until next time.